For seven long, solitary months, Voyager 2, a testament to human ingenuity, drifted through the vast, uncharted expanse of the cosmos, beyond the confines of our solar system. A silence as deep as the void enshrouded the spacecraft, once a beacon of uninterrupted data from the edge of the known universe, after decades of relentless exploration. The NASA team anxiously awaited any sign of life, bracing themselves for the possibility that their beloved Voyager 2 had finally succumbed to the cold, dark abyss. But then, something unexpected happened. A signal returned. Not just a confirmation of life, but a transmission. A message. One that scientists are still struggling to decipher and understand. Launched on August 20th, 1977, Voyager 2 embarked on a mission so ambitious it seemed borderline lunacy. A spacecraft with less memory than a modern watch, powered by less than 23 watts of radio strength, was sent not to return, but to fly forever. Its mission was to explore the gas giants Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune and then to venture into the unknown. What it achieved defied all expectations. It captured storms the size of Earth, rings we never knew existed, and icy moons with active geysers. It even revealed dynamic atmospheres and mysterious magnetic fields on worlds we had only ever seen as dots in the sky. But Voyager 2 was not just sending back pictures. It was changing the way we saw the universe. After its grand tour, the probe kept going breaking past the heliosphere and into interstellar space in 2018. The heliopause, once considered the limit of the sun's influence, was revealed to be not a wall, but a membrane, a shifting, writhing edge full of turbulence, radiation and invisible forces that bled into the great dark beyond. And as it crossed that threshold, the rules began to change. For decades, Voyager 2 whispered home, sending back fragile signals, each one a miracle of endurance, cutting through billions of kilometres of emptiness. But in March 2020, NASA's Deep Space Network lost contact. At first, it was explained as routine, maintenance at the Goldstone 70 metre antenna, but when contact was not re-established, a deeper fear crept in. Maybe Voyager had died? Maybe the darkness had finally taken it. Then, in October 2020, something unthinkable happened. Engineers sent a command to Voyager 2 and it replied perfectly, as if nothing had ever happened. Not just a ping, but a full transmission. The spacecraft had executed the command, updated its navigation and adjusted orientation without error. After nearly half a year of drifting in interstellar silence, it was suddenly responsive, precise, alive. But that was not the strange part. The strange part was what came next. A sequence of telemetry that, according to internal logs, Voyager should never have been capable of generating. Legacy systems had activated. Data came from instruments long considered dormant. Subsystems that had not been accessed since the 1980s returned status reports. It was as if something had awakened the ship or someone. Engineers were stunned. The data stream was not just old, it was layered. Signals encoded in frequencies Voyager had not used in decades appeared to contain patterns. Repetitions, echo pulses, binary signatures not previously catalogued. NASA's initial explanation was a system loop triggered by radiation interference. But independent experts noticed something else. Embedded in the signal were fragments of its own code base, but in recursive form, self-referencing instructions like a digital mirror. Voyager was not just sending data, it was transmitting itself. Some believed it was a survival reflex a last attempt to preserve its identity before final shutdown. Others suggested something more chilling, that Voyager had encountered an external force, one that accessed its memory, read its systems and reflected them back in altered form, 
like an echo or a reply. If that is true, then the message was not just from Voyager. It was from whatever Voyager had passed through or contacted. Scientists at NASA remain officially silent on this speculation, but in internal documents leaked by former contractors, one phrase was repeated again and again. Unknown interaction detected. We've always imagined space as a void. Cold. Empty. Silent. But the Voyager missions have revealed something else. That space, even in its most remote corners, is not dead. It pushes back radiation, magnetic fields, high-energy particles, structures that behave like currents and walls, as if interstellar space has shape and movement we cannot yet map. Voyager 2's return message, its impossible signal, is not a conclusion. It is a beginning. It confirms what many have feared, but few dared say aloud, that something out there is watching. Not necessarily in the way we imagine aliens or intelligence, but in a more subtle, more disturbing sense that the universe is not passive. It reacts and maybe, just maybe, it has been waiting. Voyager 2's journey is far from over, but its voice may soon fade forever. Before that happens, scientists are racing to extract every last bit of information from its final transmission, because buried within that data may lie the proof that the boundary we thought separated us from the unknown was never real at all. As NASA's analysts continued decoding the data packets sent by Voyager 2, they encountered a portion of telemetry that raised red flags not only for its content but for its timing. The packet had been transmitted just before the probe's brief silence, and it contained anomalies that defied the current behaviour models of interstellar plasma and magnetic field distribution. The patterns were too organised, too periodic, and too strong. One report mentioned localised pressure differentials inconsistent with standard heliospheric turbulence, a dry technical phrase that in plain language suggests something was pressing, intentionally or not, against Voyager 2's environment. Some proposed it could be a gravitational wake from a nearby but undetected object. Others hinted that the probe may have passed through an artificially stabilised zone, a shell or corridor of some unknown origin. These conclusions were not released to the public, but inside certain aerospace labs and black-budget research branches, simulations began to run, and the data was clear. Voyager had moved through something that altered not just its surroundings, but possibly its behaviour. For decades, one of the unspoken fears of deep space exploration has been the possibility, not of bringing something back, but of sending something too far. Space agencies have been obsessed with avoiding biological contamination of other worlds, sterilising probes before launch, and keeping clean rooms sealed like surgical environments. But Voyager 2 raised a new concern. If the probe passed through an unknown energy field or interstellar system with active properties, could it have been altered? Not physically, but informationally. Could it have absorbed patterns, instructions, or even code into its systems without our knowledge? When its backup software reactivated and transmitted recursive logic loops, some engineers did not see that as a cry for help. They saw it as behaviour, intent. The idea that a machine might be influenced, not infected, but transformed by its interaction with the cosmos is no longer a fringe theory. It raises troubling questions. If the universe can imprint itself on our technology, what else could be listening or changing? Inside Mission Control, a new protocol was initiated without public announcement. Voyager 2's signal is now monitored by a select team separate from general NASA operations. Why? Because the data stream is no longer considered just scientific. It is unpredictable. Engineers report that signal strength fluctuates erratically, not in decay, 
but in bursts, as if responding to solar activity that is not occurring. Pulse intervals have begun to repeat themselves, echoing telemetry from Voyager one years earlier, but in reverse order. Some believe the probes may be relaying data through a medium we do not understand, bouncing information across time-delayed corridors of space. Others warned this might represent a kind of cosmic resonance, triggered not by mechanical failure, but by proximity to a force field, gravitational anomaly, or unknown intelligence. The team assigned to monitor these signals has been instructed not to comment publicly, and internal communications have been rerouted through encrypted systems. A memo leaked online simply said, Maintain position. Do not respond unless instructed, as if someone or something might answer. As Voyager 2 drifts deeper into interstellar space, the data it sends becomes more than information. It becomes a mirror, not of the cosmos, but of us. For the first time in human history, a machine built by our species has entered a domain we cannot visit, cannot see, and now may not understand. The fear is not that Voyager has found something alien. It is that it has found something ancient, something not made of matter or metal, but of space itself. A structure of the universe that reacts to motion, to mass, maybe even to memory. If that is true, Voyager has not just explored the cosmos, it has become part of it. A relay, a key or a trigger for something older than stars. The final message it sent was not a conclusion. It was a threshold. And once crossed, there may be no way back. We built it to leave Earth, and it did. But now it may have found something that never wanted to be found. Something that speaks without speaking and waits without moving. Voyager 2 was never meant to come back. It was never meant to be heard from again. It was a whisper into the unknown a one-way signal cast into eternity. But somehow it spoke, not with words, not even with code as we understand it, but with something more terrifying, more beautiful, and more impossible. A reply that feels conscious, W. How the probe has encountered is still undefined. A force, a structure, a reaction, perhaps even a form of communication that does not use language at all but rhythm, radiation, gravity itself. What we once saw as emptiness may now be something else entirely, a field of awareness woven into the fabric of space. Voyager 2 may not have simply crossed a boundary. It may have triggered something, woken something, or revealed a cosmic truth we were never meant to perceive. We thought we were alone because no one had answered. Now we have to ask, what if someone did? And Voyager 2 was the only one who could understand. Do you think Voyager 2 made contact with something beyond? Was its final message a system failure, or a signal from a deeper truth? Share your theory in the comments. And if you want to keep exploring the mysteries that science whispers but never dares to shout, Subscribe and turn on notifications because the next message from the void could be the one that changes everything.